Creatine supplementation improves diabetic management. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, studies with creatine supplementation in the past have shown us that it can increase strength and explosive power, speed endurance, and lean mass in athletes to use creatine supplementation. And then later on we saw that people who are getting older using creatine and help to preserve their strength and their lean mass and make them more functional. And there have been some other medical uses for creatine that many practitioners are not aware of, and that is in patients with multiple sclerosis and other neurodegenerative diseases, it helps to keep them a little more functional by providing more energy at the cellular level, including patients with chronic heart failure. Creatine supplementation has also been shown to help to minimize the amount of atrophy that occurs in a limb that's been put into a cast while a fracture is healing. So that's another very important application from a rehab standpoint. So how does creatine work? Well, creatine, once it gets into the muscle and nerve cells, becomes creatine phosphate. And creatine phosphate is a high octane source that can help the cell recycle ATP energy very quickly. And so you end up with more available ATP energy to power the biological work of the cell. So with creatine supplementation, we see that you can increase the cellular amount of creatine phosphate by up to 40% with regular supplementation, but you need the right dosage. How does this affect diabetic management? Well, no one really knew that, but in 2010, Guilano in the Medicine and Science of Sports and Exercise published a landmark study that all practitioners should know about. He looked at 25 uh, diabetic subjects, type 2 diabetic subjects. They were all doing the exact same exercise program. He gave a subgroup of them 5,000 milligrams a day of creatine supplementation. And in the group that got the creatine, he showed a much better glucose control after a test meal. And so there was less of a, a rise, less of a spike and better glucose control, and also less glycosylated hemoglobin, which is important in the prevention of eye diseases and kidney disease that often affects the diabetic patient. What was the mechanism? The mechanism turned out to be that creatine was able to improve the action of the glucose 4 transporter that allows glucose to get into the cell with more efficacy. And so it's actually helping to overcome the major obstacle in type 2 diabetes where the cell has trouble extracting glucose, so it has to pump out more insulin. So there are drugs that do this kind of thing. The, the very popular drug known as metformin, which is an insulin sensitizer, that's basically what it's doing, helping the cell get access to glucose more easily. So creatine, a natural substance now, shown to do a very similar thing in terms of glucose control, less glycosylated hemoglobin. So it may be something that you want to add to the comprehensive management program in terms of lifestyle management of diabetic patients that you have. To really understand the details of it, you should read my referenced article, which is, in, which is in Dynamic Chiropractic. It's called Improved Type 2 Diabetes Management with Creatine Supplementation. You know, there are so many type 2 diabetic patients out there today that it's important to have some lifestyle ammunition for them. And there are many pre-diabetics as well that would probably benefit from the same types of interventions. I have other articles that I published in Dynamic Chiropractic in the past on creatine use, in case you want to see them. Uh, one is called Sports Supplements That Actually Work, and the other uh, uh, article is called Creatine Supplementation, Its Application in Sports Performance, the Treatment of Health Conditions, and Safety Profile. So you can find those on, at ChiroWeb, which is the internet site that houses the dynamic chiropractic uh, research articles. So I hope that you found this to be valuable. I would suggest that you read that article on creatine and diabetic management. And thanks so much for watching.